Welcome back. Singapore is boosting efforts to groom local talent for leadership roles in the global tech arena. It is part of the SG Digital Leaders Scheme, with 19 professionals joining a growing network of other tech experts in domains like AI and quantum computing. Nicholas Ng with more. Nearly one in every five dollars of Singapore's GDP comes from the digital economy. Significant as that may be, one founder of a homegrown startup says local entrepreneurs are missing a key advantage that overseas competitors have. We haven't gone through this multi-generational tech success. So if you look at the US, Israel, India, China, most of these very mature tech market, you have had already generations of successful people. And that becomes very important because these knowledge are being passed down and passed down. He adds that such learning points will need to come from those who have succeeded and failed over the years. It's what programs like SG Digital Leaders aim to do. C-suite executives from Singapore's top tech firms will be linked up with mentors who have been there and done that and can give tailored advice for challenging situations. What they have found extremely useful is the network and peers of fellow leaders who have gone through similar journeys, trials and tribulations and learning from each other and more importantly also paying back to the younger leaders in our ecosystem to bring them along to really make our ecosystem a very vibrant, robust, driven by good leaders as a community and a network. Emerging tech like Quantum is a big part of the picture with the Singapore Computer Society launching a new initiative in June to help academia industry and government collaborate on the technology. As the largest society for IT professionals in Singapore, uh, it is important for us uh, to help raise the awareness of the opportunities in quantum computing and help to skill up our professionals to prepare for the future ahead. While seizing opportunities presented by new technologies is at the top of the list, Digital Development and Information Minister Josephine Teo also addressed fears around AI's impact on jobs. These concerns are real, but we must at the same time recognise that AI will create new jobs. For example, as AI adoption grows across the many sectors in the economy, there will be greater demand for AI talent to deploy, test and ensure its safety and governance. As the number of AI practitioners here have grown by 25% last year, Mrs. Teo adds that a focus area is on anchoring more of such jobs in Singapore.